Earlier in the day, protesters had barricaded the Leki toll gate, demanding the president give an executive order on the disbanding of the special anti-robbery squad Fumi Najefe filed in this report. Tuesday, the second day of the NSAS protest at the Leki toll gate started very quietly. As at 8 a.m., the toll gate was free. Traffic was flowing, motorists were allowed to go through without paying. It was all calm and quiet till 8.35 a.m. when the protesters started turning up and blocking the entry into the toll gate. Motorists were turned back and LCCI staff left their post for safety. Protesters of all ages came out, some with their children, some with friends, some with their parents, and they all agreed to one thing. Why do we want to fight for fight? Not to for fight! Fight for fight! Ending the special anti-robbery squad and reforming the police. It starts from something, but I guess the conversation is already moving in that direction. Because again, from the reaction of the police force, um, it's clear that a reform is required, no doubt about it. But when people say NSAS, I don't think it's just about the men. It's the men, but again, it is the system. And that's what we're trying to fight against. We can't be in a nation where people do not feel safe. So whether it's SARS or any other security agency and all that, I think that there should be some sort of reform to ensure that people are safe. Protesters believe the announcement by the IG on Sunday is lip service and an executive order is needed to ensure it is not the same broken promise of subsequent years. The government announced that um, SARS has been disbanded, but yesterday, I have two friends that were still harassed, you know, they took their money. It didn't make sense. Besides, there's no executive order to that effect. Since 2017, they've been saying, they've been pulling the same tactics. We ban SARS. Then, after some time, we still see them on the road again, and they keep harassing. So nothing has changed. So this time, we need to see an executive order to this effect. The protest was peaceful and well organized, with volunteers sharing face masks, food, water, and whistles. There were ambulances on standby to provide medical aid, and there was music to kindle the energy of the crowd. The police had tried to come in to quell the protest, but they retreated. There are accusations that some of the entertainers are fraud stars, and they are the ones encouraging the protest. It's probably true. Obviously, like we know that in every industry, there's there's always like funding from illegal stuff in every country. But that doesn't stop the fact that these guys are killing us. There's an end goal, and that's what we are going for. One thing is sure. The protesters are serious about their call for reform in the Nigerian police. Fumi Uranjefe, reporting for Plus TV Africa.